Sunday. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I am, I am finally, finally going, going to be furnishing, furnishing the studio. studio. So if you guys have been following my channel, you'll know I moved into this house last year in December. It's almost been a full year. I swear it feels like yesterday. I pretty much got the entire place fully furnished very quickly because I knew what I wanted besides the studio. I own a clothing store. It's called Moo Global. I'm actually wearing one of the pieces right now. That's not one of the pieces. The studio has basically become the junk room. Here is the before. Don't judge me. Literally just turned into Kitty's room. That is all of Kitty's supplies. This vanity, I don't even want anymore. And I lost one of the drawers. Like, how do you lose a whole drawer in the move? All of Kitty's junk. So yeah, I'm thinking of setting up a second desk like here or somewhere right here. This room just isn't getting used and it's turning more and more into like a jug room. It doesn't need to be one. I have not done with it what I had planned. At first I thought I wanted a big plain white wall so we can take photos. That wasn't it. I basically have four different jobs and they all consist of me sitting on the computer all day long. I'm so happy that I have an office but at the same time I get really like, you know, I gotta move around. I recently saw this standing desk set up and I was like that actually might be perfect for me so i'm so convinced that i want a standing desk i've been looking into them if you guys saw one of my previous videos i went to ikea and i got a lot of different stuff for the office but the standing desk they had was like a cranking type i quickly discovered that's not for me no no, I was tired very fast and I know how lazy I am. I will not be in there using that mug. So I want an electric one. I want this to be a studio slash second office kind of. I'm very excited. This room has been like such a headache. It's gonna be so nice to have a second place to work and also just clear out all of this clutter. So I thought I would show you guys the process of me redoing the studio and setting up my second desk. My search led me to the study of the spiritual forces with which all of us are blessed. All right, so the first thing I got was this little power outlet strip thing. There's only one plug in that entire room pretty much, so I really need one of these, but they're kind of an eyesore, so I got it in this beautiful wood design. I have one of these in my bedroom and in my office. It also has these two USB ports, which is awesome. I really wanted to personalize this desk and just add a lot of fun, warm, inviting things. I wanted this to be a space I actually wanted to go to, so I got a bunch of fun different knickknacks, starting with this robot from Castle in the Sky, but it's like a little puzzle piece robot, so I have to put it together at some point. Next, this aesthetic mirror. I just kept seeing this all over every Korean Instagram page, bedroom design page living room design page and i just had to have it i thought it was so cool i don't even know if i'm gonna actually put this on the desk or not but either way it definitely fits the house next probably something i'm the most excited about my keyboard this is a wireless bluetooth keyboard i had to get it in white and it was so hard to find i also wanted those old style buttons that pop out and I wanted the ones that make a lot of noise. This company actually had three different options for like noise typing, I guess. I got the loudest option. <laughs> Love it, reminds me of my old computer when I was growing up. Now, for the absolute best part, I had to scour the entire internet to find these. Ain't nothing wrong with being basic, but for some reason, I always gotta do something different. I found a one piece space bar. Guys, oh my gosh, I am obsessed. It is so perfect. That little tool it comes with is for removing the keys, so I just removed this plain space bar and added this custom one. I didn't really want like a full on otaku keyboard. I just wanted something a little different, you know, so this was a great option. These were 12 bucks each. I did get two because I think this one would look a lot better with the entire desk. However, it's just too plain and you can't really tell what it is, so. I got the other one just in case. Although Inuyasha is my favorite anime, Luffy is like my spirit animal. Like if I was gonna be an anime character, that would be me. Always hungry, always into trouble, don't know what you're doing, but you got a lot of friends. Next, I got this wireless mouse. I don't love it, it's okay. I just wanted one that would match the keyboard because there's actually a lot of different shades of white. I think I got it right though. If you know me, you know I love houses, nature, and of course Ghibli. 
I found this Ghibli calendar. I couldn't find one that was like specifically for houses, but this is like Ghibli landscapes, which is just as good. Uh, these scenes just make me so happy, and I know having this next to the desk is gonna bring me so much happiness and positive energy. I love this calendar. And lastly, I got this iPad keyboard case. Um, I did get a new iPad, and although I might not be putting this on the desk, I think my iPad will be inside of this, but I wanted the one that came with the keyboard. Also, I'm pretty boring. I always stick to like whites and browns. I thought it would be fun and get yellow since that is my favorite color. Super duper cute, and it comes with a little spot where you can put your Apple Pencil. But before we continue, as a lot of you guys know, I get all of my glasses from GlassesUSA.com and they are the sponsor of today's video. I absolutely love them. They have so many different glasses to choose from. They have a lot of different styles. Very customizable as well. For example, these are the new pair that I got for like working on the computer. I just love clear frames and I got them in prescription with anti-blue light coating on them. These are called Ray-Ban 6396. I'll have the names of each pair like linked down below and on the screen for you guys. I don't know, I'm getting teacher vibes from this one, you know? It's a lot different from my normal pair. Oh, they're downstairs. Next! These are called Ototo Weston. They have brown frames. I got them in prescription. And these are their transition lenses. So the transition lenses block 100% of UV rays. The lens gets darker when it's exposed to UV light outdoors or indoors. And the lens remains transparent. This allows you to be able to use these as sunglasses and eyeglasses. They can be used with prescription or anti-blue light coating as well. I just got these in prescription. GlassesUSA.com has affordable prices on transition lenses and they offer a really wide variety of discounts on the frames. GlassesUSA.com offers a variety of high quality designer brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Prada, and established house brands with a wide range of styles. These transition lenses can be paired with any frames so I actually also got them on some Ray-Bans. There's like a little bit of light in here so you can already see that it's changing. These are the Ray-Ban 5154 Club Masters. I got it in black tortoise and gold and I got it with the brown transition lenses. It's just so nice to not have to switch out your glasses all the time, especially while traveling. Like I'm going on a trip soon and I already know these are gonna come in handy because I don't wanna switch between glasses and sunglasses while I'm traveling. Guys, let me know which pair is your favorite on me. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna have links and everything down below in the description box. Definitely check them out. I love all of their glasses. Thank you again, Glasses USA, for sponsoring today's video. time to clean. I got mostly everything cleared out of here. I just need to sweep. And don't think that there's always cat food on the floor like this. I'm not filthy. I dropped a bunch of cat food last night trying to move the bag out of here, but I knew I was going to be in here cleaning in the morning, so yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to sweep the floor if Kitty will let me, and mop. That's how it's going. I'm trying to... <sighs> you need to get out. this pile to be gone in the morning girl you ain't touched it you too good for food that's been on the ground take you back to the shelter remind you can't believe you didn't touch this food you know, it's all stale 
mixed in with the dust. Oh. It took way longer than it should to sweep these floors, but oh my gosh, just look. I love it. Next, I'm going to steam the floor. Oh my god, it looks so good. Um, only problem is, I don't know why. I ordered this from Amazon Japan. It gave me the one with like the USA plug. And I'm like, why would you do that? This is Amazon Japan. That shouldn't even be an option. Because the outlets look like this in Japan. So this totally doesn't fit. And I had to use like a little converter thing, but I don't want to use that. It's big and bulky. That's the only outlet in this entire room. The other one is up here behind the curtain. What's going on in here? I'm so glad I went with electric. Like being able to raise it and lower it just gives you so many more options. I'm I'm obsessed. But I think I like it kind of high to be honest. Kitty's down there. Look how high. I don't think I'd ever have it that high, but I mean it's an option. It's like at my neck. Alright, so now it's time to decorate the desk. Instruction in the box. Whoa. All right, here we go. Here we go. You just have to like figure out what goes together. Seriously. You're lucky I see you this movie a million times. It just has to. Oh, it does. All right, I'm making some progress here. Why me? Oh my gosh. I have to take all of this off. Holy, you know how much faster this would have been with some instructions? Oh my gosh. What is wrong with them? It's all over them. Who finds pleasure in this? Do you know how busy I am right now? This is even the left and right. these little leftover things that I use to hide the cords along the baseboard of the room. So I'm gonna put all the cords inside of this and then run this along the wall like that. Looks a little bit better than a bunch of cords hanging all over the place.
bunch of postcards I've been collecting from like all around the world when I travel and I've been dying to hang them up and now that I have this little backboard in back of the desk, I can hang up a few. <laughs> Chef cats. A lot of cats in here. Oh, Barcelona. Wow, that was so long ago. So, I'm a very indecisive person. I have to put everything in every possible position before I can settle. I'm gonna be changing this stuff around over and over again. So, I'm just gonna like set it all up and once I've decided on like a final position for everything, I will show you guys. actually finally finished setting up the studio the last piece of furniture came it was like a little monitor stand I haven't decided on a monitor yet but I still wanted the stand for my iPad I woke up and I was walking through the hallway and I could see the little table set up it looked so nice it's that room over there I don't know last night like nothing was looking right I just kept rearranging everything and I was like no it probably looks good I just need to go to sleep so let me give you guys the tour <laughs> see the room right from the hallway so here she is the first thing is this whole little table chair situation this is the chair that you saw me get from ikea that was on sale i think it goes really well because the legs are white i already had this lamp from my old apartment and i had that mirror from like when i moved into this place and it all went together so well this lamp i had from my old apartment as well so yeah i just think this whole little setup is such a vibe and it's gonna be so nice to have my coffee in the morning it's starting to get too cold on the balcony i have a feeling like this is gonna be my little chill spot and I'm so glad I finally got to hang up that mirror <laughs> spazzy cat this is that little piece of furniture that i got from ikea for five dollars what really great storage this is like a whole bunch of equipment and like workout stuff that i can just hide in here i already had that basket i forgot where i got it actually i have my sewing machine on this end and i don't have anything on this side yet but i will these are all clothes from my shop move global so i have all these things hanging up and most of this stuff is all the stuff that's currently in stock you guys can totally see a sneak peek of the next item but yeah i really want this clothes rack to be white and to hang off of the edge of this little ikea thing in the future this will be changed i'm gonna have it on the floor and it's gonna go all the way around instead of just like sitting on it like that but i like how this is out of the way this is the most undecided thing of the entire studio i'm pretty sure everything over here is gonna change we have kitty's situation her litter box is actually really cute that rug needs to go i just have it under there so she doesn't get stuff everywhere her food dish bowl is so cute and also matches and those are those two bags Baskets I got from Ikea. However, I don't know where I want to put them yet. <laughs> this vanity is absolutely gonna go and I did lose one of the drawers in the move somehow. And then this is like a Ghibli poster that I got framed. Eventually that will go in the wall. And finally the main part of the studio, my desk. I'm actually obsessed with it. I have to show you guys what it looks like at night as well because there's like a lot of lights going on. <laughs> to 
stick to an all white theme with just like little splashes of color here and there. I didn't finish sorting out the cords at the bottom. I was just way too exhausted. So I just hid them inside of this little stool. But yeah, I was installing these things along the wall that can hide the cord. The cord for the standing desk is black and it's huge. So like you can see a piece there. I really wanna hide that. Got this digital clock from Ikea. I am obsessed with it. I haven't even bothered setting it. That is absolutely not the time. <laughs> I'm so glad I settled on this lamp here because it looks so good. I could not find a table small enough to fit this wall. So it hangs off the edge a little bit and I love how this lamp just kind of camouflages that. Also, I got this Hello Neon sign off of Amazon. I would have gotten a much bigger one, but it would take too long to get one customized. It was really hard to find one that didn't have all of the like mechanical components in the back that were showing. It looks so messy. I'm actually shocked that I bought this because it's something that's like so useless, but I really liked it. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have so much fun like timing how long it takes me to do stuff. Next, we have this aesthetic mirror from Amazon. I've been seeing this all over Instagram actually, so I was really glad that I was able to find it. This little office backboard I got from Ikea as well. These are sold separately. And there's the scam, y'all. This thing is not that expensive, but all these little accessories really start to rack up. So I don't think I'll be getting any more. <laughs> just wanted something where I can hang up a bunch of different photos without putting a million holes in the wall. So right now I have a couple of postcards hanging up. I believe I got this when I went to the Ghibli Museum. I forgot where I got this one from. This is one of the photos that I took with all of my friends in the photo booth. And then I freaking love this, guys, chef cats, cat chefs. I'm gonna be adding more and changing this thing up quite a bit. My favorite thing on the entire desk, this was actually so expensive, but I had to have it. It was 36 bucks, y'all. Also, this totally opens so I can put like little rings in here. This is the monitor stand that I got from Amazon. Absolutely love it because it's white. It has these two compartments in the front. I can set my phone here if I wanted to. This is also a little drawer. I just have some sticky notes in there right now. And then of course, my beautiful keyboard. I got it off of Amazon. It types very loudly, which I really wanted. <laughs> and I got this custom button off of a different store off of Amazon and installed it. You just have to like pull off the key and you can put one on there. This mouse I also got off of Amazon. It's nothing special. I just wanted something that would like match the same white tone as everything else on the desk. This phone holder thing I got here is actually a different white. I don't know if you can tell, but there'd be a lot of different shades of white. <laughs> and then back here, I have this really cool robot from Castle in the Sky. I had to put it together and it took me a minute, but I love it. It's so perfect for the desk. He's guarding the pens. And then I got this little pen holder from Ikea as well. I don't know what happened. I'll start the year off with thousands of pens. And then by the end of the year, I have like none. So I don't know where all my pens are, but I clearly need some. And then over here on the wall, we have this Ghibli calendar. It's a landscape calendar. So excited. It's not October, obviously, but that is my favorite month. So I just put it up. Also, it's the beautiful Ponyo house. So yeah, this calendar is so cute and I love it. Definitely the best part is the fact that this is an electric desk. Like I'm so glad I don't have to crank this around and so far i'm loving the standing desk situation i think this is going to be really great in the morning when i need to like check some emails really quick so yes that is the whole studio situation i'm very glad you guys this room was like a gigantic junk room and it was making me so stressed i hope you guys liked the video if you have any questions be sure to leave a comment down below i will get back to you i will try and link as much of this stuff down below as i possibly can but keep in mind it's all from ikea or amazon japan not amazon us which is very different Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and join the family because we have family over here, okay? Also, thank you Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna have links and all the information down below in the description box.